Welcome to day seven. Congratulations on completing the first week of the Chopra Center 21 day meditation challenge, Creating Abundance. Over the past six days, we have discovered the reality and source of abundance, which is unlimited and eternal. We've learned that mind, matter and spirit work in conjunction with one another to manifest abundance. That in the silent field of all possibilities dwell the seeds of success. And that when you live from within, your desires are fulfilled quickly, spontaneously and with minimal effort. This week, we'll contemplate what we sometimes call a coincidence, a miracle, or just good luck. Ask yourself, how long does it take for a dream to come true? In the minds of some, specific conditions must be met. Plans must be in place. A certain amount of time must pass and effort needs to be exerted. However, these conditions all spring from the physical three-dimensional world. In deeper levels of consciousness, what we call a dream, miracle or lucky coincidence can happen in an instant. Is a lucky coincidence something that happens to some and not to others? Or is what we call luck actually the result of awareness and intention? Having your dream spontaneously fulfilled is not a result of luck. In fact, luck is a concept invented and used by those who have not yet discovered the incredible power of living in alignment with the soul, spirit and source. Once you realign with your source, you will find that you can spontaneously fulfill your desires and enjoy everyday miracles. There will never be a need to worry about when or if your dreams will come true, if you hold the faith and trust that they will. Take a moment to envision an everyday miracle you'd like to have happen in your life. Consider your circumstances as they are now and how you'd like them to be. For instance, perhaps you work as an accountant but have always wanted to express your artistic side. Paying attention to your body, notice how you feel when you think about your current circumstances and when you focus on your dreams. Pay attention to these feelings of comfort or discomfort, sadness or joy. Your body is a wonderful tool to help align you with spirit. Noting how it feels helps you to make creative choices that will bring you closer to what you desire. Now, as we prepare for meditation, Consider today's centering thought. I use my conscious intention to manifest my dreams. I use my conscious intention to manifest my dreams.
Now let's begin. Please find a comfortable position, placing your hands lightly in your lap and closing your eyes. In this moment, go within to that place of inner quiet where we experience our connection to the higher self. Let go of all thoughts and begin to observe the inflow and outflow of your breath. With each inhalation and exhalation, allow yourself to become more relaxed, more comfortable, more at peace. Gently introduce today's Sanskrit mantra, repeating it mentally and allowing it to flow with effortless ease. Sat, Chit, Ananda. Sat, Chit, Ananda. Existence, Consciousness, Bliss. Sat, Chit, Ananda. Whenever you find yourself distracted by thoughts, sensations in your body, or noises in the environment, simply return your attention to mentally repeating the mantra. Sat Chit Ananda Please continue with your meditation. I'll mind the time, and at the end, you'll hear me ring a soft bell to indicate it's time to release the mantra. Sat Chit Ananda Sat Chit Ananda Just mentally.
it's time to release the mantra. Please bring your awareness back into your body. Take a moment to rest, inhaling and exhaling slowly and deeply. When you feel ready, gently open your eyes. As you continue with your day, carry the sense of unlimited potential with you and remember today's centering thought. I use my conscious intention to manifest my dreams. I use my conscious intention to manifest my dreams. I use my conscious intention to manifest my dreams. Namaste.